Hello guys, this is Amel with another tutorial for interview preparation and this time I'm gonna teach you how to solve the shortest distance to a character problem. This is a problem that was given to me at an interview and uh, it's a very interesting one. So I think it's gonna be very useful to you uh, to practice this problem. So the name is shortest distance to a character. Given a string S and the character C, return an array of integers representing the shortest distance from the character C in the string. So they give you an array, they give you a string S, for example, and they give you a character C. So in this case the string is this one, and the character that you're looking for is E. So you need to return an array that gives you the shortest distance from this position to the character that you're looking for. For example, from this position, the shortest distance to the character E in in the string is, is 3. That's the distance, the shortest distance. Because you have 1, 2, 3. So this is the distance to E. Now from this position, the distance is 2. Because you start 1 and 2. From this position, the distance is 1 because you have this only here and from this position the shortest distance is zero so the best way to approach this problem is by going from left to right and calculating the distance of the character from left to right and saving that in an in, in array and then you have to do another pass and go from right to left and every time you go from right to left, you calculate which one is minimum, which one is less, coming from the left or coming from the right. And that's going to be the final output. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the code. And that's, that's going to make it clear. And you will see that it's not so difficult. So first, I'm going to do some null validation. If the reference is null or the string is empty then I'm gonna return null because there's no possible solution I'm gonna store the length of the string in a variable n integer n gets a value of s dot length and I'm gonna make my array that, that is gonna be the output of this function of this method Alright, so now I have to go from the left to calculate the distance and in order to do that I need to have a previous variable and the previous variable I'm going to initialize to integer that main value divided by 2. Why divided by 2? Because I'm going to go from left to right and I'm going to subtract the current index i. I'm going to subtract the current index i uh, from, uh, I'm going to say i minus pref every iteration. And if I don't do integer that mean value divided by 2, if I just do the whole integer that mean value, I'm going to have some error. I'm going to get some overflow. Um, so that's why if I say 0 minus integer that mean value, I'm going to get some overflow. So I want to avoid that. So that's why I'm going to divide by 2. So now I can go from left to right, 0, i is less than the length of the array, plus plus i. Every iteration I'm going to check if the character at the current position equals the character I'm looking for, then I'm going to say pref gets the value of i. This was the last position when I saw the character. And every iteration, I'm going to update output sub i to be i minus pref. And that's going to give me the, the distance uh, from left to right of the character. So when I see the character now, minus when I saw it last time. All right. So now I need to do something similar 
but now it's going to be from right to left. So I'm going to initialize pref to be integer the max value. This time I don't have to divide by 2 because I want to find the minimum. So I'm going to be comparing um, pref minus i every iteration from right to left and I'm going to choose the minimum of coming from the left or coming from the right and that's going to be the final output in, at each position in the array. So for integer i gets a value of the length of the string minus 1, i is greater than or equal to 0 minus minus i. If s the char at i equals equals the character I'm looking for, then I'm going to say pref is the value of i and every iteration I'm going to update output sub i, the final output, output sub i gets a value of mass that mean the minimum of coming from the left, output sub i, that's what I calculated before in the same array, coming from the left or coming from the right. And coming from the right will be pref minus i. And finally, I'm going to return the output array. So I'm going to run the code to test it. As you can see, I get the right output. And I'm going to submit the code. It was successful. So this is an efficient solution. Uh, to solve the shortest distance to a character problem. As you can see, the time complexity is going to be big O of n, where n is the length of the string, um, because you have one for loop that goes n times, and another for loop that goes n times, so that's going to be big O of, big o of n. And this is a this is a nice solution so thank you for watching my tutorial I hope that it was useful uh, please like my video don't forget to subscribe and this is Amel Peralta see you next time happy coding